Well, heel toe, do si do, come on, baby, let's go, boo-scootin'. You know, if you're ever watching the replay, go ahead and say hashtag replay, because you be the only one who be catching them songs. That's right. Because, you know, Facebook takes a little lag, and they take a little time. So we fill it in with a song. Just wait for some friends to come on in, come on in. Where y'all been? I missed y'all. <clears throat> All right. I promised you a story, and I just have to tell you the story about my eldest. So he is 13, and I think it was yesterday. He said, Mom, I always love when you bake us stuff before we come home from school, and we walk into the house, and it smells good, and we have yummy stuff there for us. And last week, I was really looking forward to that, and then I realized it was Wednesday, or it was Thursday, and you weren't home to bake. And I thought, oh my goodness, like how sweet is he? So I am home most every day, except for Wednesdays and Thursdays when I go into the office for Caneo. And so those are really long days, right? Like I literally arrive at the office for our car chats at 8 a.m on both Wednesday and Thursday, and then Wednesdays I stay until church is over, so we're not even leaving until almost 9 p.m., and then Thursdays I don't leave the office until 5. And so I just thought, oh my goodness, like he is so, so sweet. Okay, friends, listen. Oh, Amber, you doggone done it. I was going to mill a little bit more because I I don't think I have enough, so this going to be interesting. Let's just go ahead and see, you know, what we got going. And if it's a mess, well, what else is new? Grab your tea, y'all, and just sit on down and let's have a moment. Cheers. Let's have some fun, what you say. So I'm going to do a new recipe today. I'm actually going to use Ezekiel flour. If you check my latest post, I popped a, you got some extra Dinah, run over here fast. Like, girl, you got three minutes. How fast can you be? <laughs> so I have been on an Ezekiel flour kick. Ezekiel flour, I knew y'all would ask, so I brought some. Now you can make your own, but I just, out of convenience, Thank you, Breadbackers. They put it together for me. But what it is, is it's a complete protein. But yet you mill it together, making a flour, so now you have different baked goods as a complete protein. Well, how is it a complete protein, you're asking, you smarty pants. I love questions. So this is because it has hard red, remember, hardcore nutrients in the hard red. Love it so, so much. It has organic, it's all organic, spelt, barley, lentils, millet, great northern, so you can see the white bean here, so great northern bean, kidney, pinto, and it makes about three pounds of dough. So with the grains, the lentils, and the beans, you have this beautiful mix that makes a complete protein, which again, anything I do here, I always clean up the ingredients for you. I'm always elevating your recipes, making sure that you are feeding your body so that it thrives, but you are not missing out on the taste. So if you know anything about my family, my kids were completely sugar-free until probably Georgia. Good night alive, the South is something else. But we complete, we did not do sugar. We do not do food dyes. We do not do like, if it is bad for your body, it pretty much is abandoned from our house. And yet, I never wanted them to feel jet. So they always knew that at school, if they were given a candy or a candy bar or a treat or a sucker or whatever it was, they held onto it. They came home and they traded it in for something that was a treat to our family, right? So we have Lara bars, which they love. We have all these different things. So I am all about making the yummy factor real. You have to enjoy it. In fact, oh my goodness, y'all got to go watch that reel. I do not know why Facebook will not show my reels. It's very annoying but I did a reel because I made Ezekiel brownies and my daughter requested peanut butter so of course I aim to please but y'all I'm telling you I know they're picked apart they're so good like you will not be mad okay so you're not going to be missing out when you cook like this southern miss okay and your body is going to say thank you thank you thank you Okay, so what are we making?
today, Amber. Well, thanks for asking and keeping me on track here, okay? We're going to make Ezekiel, because of the flower, that's why it's Ezekiel, Ezekiel honey pumpkin bread. Mmm, listen, listen, listen. All right, so in a large bowl, now mind you, I'm not sure I have enough flour for this recipe because I was trying to get all my ducks in a row and apparently got distracted and I was five minutes late without milling more flour. So cheers, we'll see how this works. All right, in a large bowl, whisk together. Honey, we need, okay, the recipe calls for one and a half cups of honey. That seems very too much. So we're just gonna do a cup. Again, I've never made this before. I could tell you at the end of it, it's awful. I messed it up entirely, but I think a cup and a half of honey is just a little too much. And so like Diana said, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be just fine. So let me go ahead and grab some spray. So my honey, 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 how you be honey? Grab some spray so that my little uh, honey, honey, doesn't stick too bad here. All right, friends, let's just do a cup, maybe a little less than a cup, because like I said, ain't nobody need massive sweeteners up in here. Can you even see what I'm doing? So here we go with this. I did about three-fourths of a cup. Like I said, I'll let you know if that ruins it, but guess what the next ingredient is? Dark evaporated cane sugar. Now, if anything calls for brown sugar, that is just your clue. Your clue, need a spatula, hang tight. All that is is your clue to sukunat, okay? And again, you will see in my reel how I can melt butter and sukunat and make this beautiful almost caramel sauce, which is another, um, Thing that I use when it comes to like the toppings of my coffee cake or whatever. Okay, so again, you don't need the white death. You don't need the brown sugar. Here is just some sukunat, which I just get off Thrive. It comes directly to my door. This recipe is calling for a fourth cup. I think that's fine. That doesn't seem too extravagant. So let's grab a fourth here and we're just mixing it in with that honey. All right, we're also gonna need coconut oil and one cup. So let me go grab that, and hopefully it's not too hot, but just in case it is, let me go all grab, grab this. Oh, it's hot, y'all! Oh, it's hot! Don't burn, don't spill! Oh, it's hot, hang on. I melted it. I'm about to melt my hands off. Come on now, coconut, you can do it. I have faith in you. Yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. Okay, friends, this is a cup of melted coconut, but I just gotta pour it in because it's so hot. It is so hot. By the way, I was doing another reel for y'all. I'm learning these reels. Like, reels are no joke, by the way. Do you make reels? Have you ever made reels? Whoo, sister. Okay, so I was making this reel and I totally dropped the glass ball. Boop right on in there, well, real life up in here. Y'all know it's real up in here. All right, so we've got our honey, we've got our coconut, we've got our coconut oil. We need vanilla and eggs. So our vanilla, we need two teaspoons. Let me grab that. It's so funny. I have like most all the ingredients out, but like apparently the ones I need, like how is that possible? All right, so it's two teaspoons of this, one, you know, just kind of, oops, a little bit more. My kids would laugh and be like, mom, like you don't even measure for real. Like you're not accurate. And I'm like, it's all, it's gonna be all right. It is gonna be all right. Okay, this looks very odd. I am not gonna lie to you. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like clear. I don't know, this looks very interesting. All right, so we have whisked together, kind of with our spatula, Honey, sukunat, coconut oil, vanilla, oh, and eggs. I feel like if I add four eggs to this mixture right now, they're gonna curdle. Do you think they're gonna curdle? That coconut oil was hot. So I think I'm just gonna pause just a hot minute. We're gonna wait on them eggs. We're gonna start the flour, okay? So in another bowl, we are going to whisk together our flour. By the way, I gotta tell y'all something. My cousin, 
she's into sourdough now. And so she's like, well, I had to buy the whole sourdough kit and it came with this and I don't know what it is. I was like, best, best whisk ever. Best whisk ever. It will not over whisk your stuff. It's amazing. I think they call it a Swedish whisk. Do you have one? Have you heard of it? Anyways. All right. The amount of flour I need. Y'all pray. Y'all pray. This multiplies, okay? Three and a half cups. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, but it's gonna be all right. Here we go. How much do we, how much do we have, y'all? Let's guess. Here's one. Oh, yeah. Here's two. A little, little shy, two. Oh, friends. I think we got about two and a half. So what does that mean? If I don't have enough flour, does that mean it's just going to be super runny? Because we are making bread. What do you say in the comments? Other than Amber, you've messed up again, which is fine. Everything is going to be all right. Stick it in the fridge for a few minutes. Really? What is that going to do for me? Listen, y'all need to give just Diana some hearts and some love. Who else is giving me some comments? It's going to be just fine. Because I'm telling you, Miss Diana, not only is she great, but she, she thought going to save my bacon every time. She just, y'all just give her some hearts right now. Just lots and lots of hearts there. All right, whisk together the flour. We also need salt, a teaspoon of salt. So y'all know what be coming now. What's coming if I need my salt? Oh, 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 it was an elbow. Come on in, it was an elbow. Do you not just love my elbow? Like, I don't know what it is about this thing, y'all. It's just the simple things in life, you know? By the way, I got this new phone holder. Does it look kind of like the same angle or do we got a lot of cabinets going on? Anyways, let me know. I really love all the feedback. Well, hi, Athena girl. How you be? All right, so we have our flour, our salt. We need our baking soda, which is two teaspoons of baking soda. Now, I will say my baking soda is expired, but it hasn't killed me yet. But it is very clumpy. And sometimes my kids may confess to getting a clump. So we're going to try and get them clumps out. Okay, yes, we are. All right, what's next? And our pumpkin pie spice. We need two tablespoons. Good, not a lot. That's a bit. Two tablespoons pumpkin pie spice. All right, if you say so. I take your word for it. This is a big old thing. It's going to use two of these. Okay, hold on. I cannot do that. Do I have to do it left-handed? That doesn't feel right either. What hand does one use when they do this? I don't know. It feels odd. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be more than two. I can already feel it. It's, it's getting sassy with me. Oh, boy. It's pretty close. Pretty close to one. Come on, now we need two. Come on. Pumpkin pie, you can do it. I got faith in you. I don't want to stick a knife in you. I don't want to be getting cranky with you. Ah! I'll show you who's boss. That'll do. Two. Is it really two? It's really two. That's a lot. All right, new recipe, y'all, new recipe. Okay, so we're just gonna whisk this together. Now it says add the pumpkin mixture. Oh, the pumpkin mixture. That must mean the pumpkin puree. All right, well, we've got this pretty much, you know, dry ingredients whisked together. Let me, hold on, let me just look for them big old things of soda. That way I don't make my, ooh, I found one. I'm just gonna take it out. I ain't gonna take time to put it, Look at this big old thing. My eldest would have got it. He always gets them. Oh yeah. And yet, he's the one with the sweet story. If you're just joining, you gotta watch it from the beginning because he's so sweet. I'm telling y'all, he has got to marry some, some woman that has intellect or else he gonna go crazy. I mean, I know every parent thinks their child is just the smartest. But this kid, he's something else. Now, if y'all knew what I fed him, as a small one, y'all would probably cringe, but I, I'm telling you, that's why he's got such big brains. Then I had a second kid and a third kid and a fourth kid and well, they all got fed, okay? That's just about, that's just about honest truth right there. 
All right, here we have our organic pumpkin puree. As you can tell, I've been slaving all day in the kitchen. I made it from my own pumpkin in the oven and softened it, and now it's ready to go. Okay, so as you know, well, hold on, should have got this out prior to, I need me a can opener for my fresh pumpkin. What do you think? Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Y'all excited about a new recipe? You know, ooh, oh, I just had an idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if this gonna work. Hold on. I might need a spatula. And y'all do not let me forget to add them eggs. I need four eggs. All right, here we go, pumpkin. I'm gonna take the, here we go, okay. Ooh, don't you just love a pumpkin color? I know it's not fall. In fact, today, what is the temperature outside? I am ready for sunshine, pools, and walks. Listen, ain't nothing better than summertime walks around. Listen, if y'all have ever seen my um, community, the hills are no joke, but I walk them. And by last summer, I was running parts of them, and I felt very accomplished. And I listen to my Audible. It's like the best time. And then I go to the pool, and I work there. And it's like, it's there a better life than this? I don't think so. I'm ready for that. I need that in my life. All right, as you can see, here I go, just stirring in that beautiful pumpkin that I've been slaving over all day. Oh yeah, just for y'all. Just kidding, I decided on this recipe about 20 minutes ago. I thought, you know what, if I have the ingredients, we're gonna go with it. I had another recipe on my radar. But I was out of coconut, so mm -mm, ain't nobody doing that when you had a coconut. Then I had this other recipe on my radar. But guess what else that one needed? Coconut! Can somebody go to the store and give me, oh, somebody text my husband. I need coconut. He was like, when you want me home, I was like, I don't know, I need you to go to Costco. Like, ain't nobody got food up in here. I ain't got fruit. What am I supposed to feed the children? I mean, I ain't got chicken. I, I pretty much, I don't have salads. Like, if you could go to Costco while I just have some fun with the people, that'd be great. I was like, and then the library, you know, because the library, we got books too. So if you could go to the library, that'd be great. And of course, pick up the kids from school and take them with you. Because ain't nobody have more fun than taking a whole lot of children on some errands all over Georgia. You know, and so just text my man. Somebody just text him and tell him I need coconut. If you could do that right now, that'd be, that'd be great. Oh, hi, Marcella. How are you? All right, I need to pay attention. What are we even doing here? So we're gonna add the pumpkin mixture and stir until combined. You know, I'm gonna give up the whisk. I think the whisk is, maybe it's cause I'm distracted, but it is not being my best friend right now. Oh y'all, we did not even preheat Gina. Good thing I am not making y'all stay around to see this be done cause you'd be here till Caneo tonight, which starts at seven. All right, 350, preheat the oven, Gina. You got this girl? Yes, you do. Come on now. All right, this looks pretty, mm, well, I don't know. I think it's gonna look good. How about that? It's gonna look good because it says divide the batter evenly. Well, hold on. When do I mix the two balls together? I'm gonna do it now. Y'all, it never tells me to do that. Hold on. There's a default with the recipe. In a large bowl. Whisk together, honey, sukunat, my sukunat, they call for sugar, coconut oil, vanilla, and eggs. Oops, hold on, we need to do the eggs. Add the pumpkin puree and stir, oh. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm the default, not the book. I was supposed to add the pumpkin to the wet mixture, but I added the pumpkin to the dry mixture because I just don't think this would be a normal show if we didn't mess up. Because if you haven't learned by now, you just can't mess up. As long as you're showing up, you're doing great. By golly, them kids are gonna eat it. In fact, I think y'all would eat it if you came over. Now, I'm only here till about 5.30, so if you're gonna come, you better make it quick. Although these aren't gonna be done because they gotta cook at 3.50 for um, how long here? Oh, good night. It doesn't even say. Oh, my Lanta! Almost an hour! Is that normal for bread? That's a long time. Y'all, we, I'm barely gonna get to eat this thing. What's my children gonna say? All right, crack the eggs. We need four. Ready? Here we go. 
uno, uno huevo, oh, don't get the shells in there, come on, Amber, y dos, epa, y uno momento, tres, ese, y cuatro, cuatro huevos, You know the drill. I gotta wash my hands. Hang tight. I do not like dirty hands. No. Mm -mm. What do you hate? Tell me something in the comments that is like a pet peeve. Well, maybe not pet peeve. Drives you crazy. Like dirty hands would be mine. What is something for y'all? Tell me. Okay, now I'm gonna use this whisk and I'm gonna whisk them eggs into this mixture. And then I guess I'm gonna add the dry mixture with a pumpkin. Y'all, this looks very odd. This looks very, very, very odd. But I just have a feeling it's gonna be all right. <laughs> oh, friends, I will put a picture in the comments and I won't lie to you. If it's awful, I'll tell ya. But we're gonna plop this right on in since we did it wrong. That's okay. It's all right. Listen, if you're cringing, I guess you can just sit there and be grateful you don't got to eat it. And if you're not cringing and you think it's going to be okay, you go ahead and just get some hearts and some encouragement because you know your sister could use it right about now. One of these times, it's going to go so flawless. It is going to go so flawless. I'm not even going to know what to do. There they are. I will receive those. Yes, I will. Those are the most beautiful things I've seen this Tuesday. That's because this recipe looks a hot mess. All right. I think it's turned out okay, though. Now, remember, we're a little short on flour. So, Diana says that I should put it in the fridge. Okay, y'all just give Andy Jones some hearts now because, well, we're here because of her. So, if you are enjoying your life or this show, even in a minute way, just go ahead Oh, friends, you know what I just found in it? Oh, help me. Eggshell. My eldest would ate that. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of that one. Ain't nobody needing a crunchy. Ooh, friends. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm getting all excited now with my mess because I'm like, well, Amber, if you've already doggone messed it up, you can't mess it up anymore. So here's what I'm thinking. If I've got this beautiful pumpkin mixture, you know what I think I'm gonna do? Y'all, I'm getting real excited now. I must, I've missed y'all. What has it been so long? What have y'all been doing that you have not been here? Or should I be asking myself that? I do not know. Okay, the warm coconut should go in the fridge. Oh, <laughs> well, the warm coconut's already in the mixture, so we, we be done. Okay, friends, this looks all right. Oh, yes, it does. Now, I'm going to do something that's semi-illegal. Don't, I mean, don't worry. You ain't going to be calling the cops. But I'm sitting here thinking, you know what would be yum? Let me see if I have it. Let me see if I have Oh, I do. Okay, imagine this. You've got pumpkin bread. You've got some chopped walnuts that are on the top. I'm going to do that in a minute. And you've got a little hint of Madagascar vanilla. Can you imagine the smells? Get in my kitchen with me. How many drops should we do? It's not even coming out. Here we go. One, come on. Sing to it, it'll happen a little faster. Two, let's do three. Now, remember, the reason why we can take these internally is because of the purity, okay? So don't be go buying no junk off the shelves. Listen, don't even get me started. And the reason why I said it's illegal is because you're technically not supposed to use oils with plastic. I'm going to take it out right now. So we're just going to be illegal for about five seconds. All right. Now we need two bread pans and my favorite way, I know it's not the quickest, but my favorite way to prep a pan, whether it's the brownie pan that I made for the children's request or bread is to actually get your, here, let me show you super simple, Costco 
coconut oil, and you just plop it right in the pan, right like so, it's kind of a lot. And then grab your paper towel, at least this is how I do it. Maybe y'all use your hands, but you know me, I do not use my hands. And then you just prep the dish. Okay, this is another way to just get really good. See, we've, we've turned fats in a bad way. This fat is so, so good for you. Okay, so, so good for you. And it preps your dish without all the yuck that you could prep it with, right? Like P-A-M, bad word. Bad word in this household. Don't be using that junk, y'all. You can do it super simple, easy, with just coconut oil. Okay, so again, just a couple simple switches in your house. Your body's going to say, thank you, thank you very much. That's what your body will say. All right, it now says to split it in half. Maybe I should go back to the directions because clearly I don't read very well. Divide batter evenly between prepared pans. Bake in a preheated oven for 50 to 55 minutes until the top springs back and lightly touched, and a toothpick, don't own them. Text Nordstrom, I need coconut from the store, and a toothpick, all right? We need this. Um, and then, when the center comes out clean, okay, so basically just divide these. You got it. Oh, I'm on it. If y'all didn't think I was on it, I'm on it. Yes, I am. All right, here we go now. I just gotta get all the goods. I hate watching the people who cook and then they like leave. <clears throat> okay, Gina, I hear you. Uh-oh, you got both it. Listen, Dinah, don't you be showing me up, okay? You got all the things. I'm just over here struggling. I'm just an amateur, just an amateur over here. All right, this feels like a lot of batter, y'all. This is going to be good. I don't even think it matters that we, maybe I did less honey because I had less flour. What do you think? Okay, this, these look good. Now, I'm going to stick these in the oven. Uh-oh, who's going to set my timer? Because I'm telling y'all, last time we were together, I think I told y'all to set my timer, and then I really never set my timer, and I burnt. Yes, I did. It was the thing in the crock pot. I burnt it. Now, the kids still ate it. They still thought it was great. Don't you just love them? So easy to please. But I'm telling you, I burnt them suckers. All right, these are done. These look amazing. I'm gonna stick them in the oven. I'm gonna chop some walnuts for topping because that sounds delightful. Here's our first. Can you see it? I hope you can. Here's our second. I almost dropped that. Oh, that would have been bad. All right, here we go. In the oven, and then we're gonna chop. Chop, 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 chop. Some walnuts for toppings. Okay, hands, Ugh, hands. Okay, who's excited? Come on now, tell me if you're excited. It's way more fun when you talk. It just really, really is. All right, I've got my cutting board. Yesterday, I made a blueberry walnut, I love them hearts, blueberry walnut muffins. So let me, Grab my walnuts. Where are they? The walnuts. Found them. I was looking in the wrong drawer. Come on in, come on in, Tom. Oh my goodness. Y'all say hi to my friend Tom. He's from Washington State. Tom and I have known each other. Tom, did we meet senior year or was it like 10th or 11th? I know for sure senior year we were buddies, but was it before that that we met? And then him and my dad actually hang out, what is it, maybe weekly, Tom? Do you guys hang out about weekly? Listen, my dad, there is just, there's no one like my dad. It was his birthday last week. He spent two weeks in Hawaii. So, you know, I didn't call him on his birthday because I was mad. That, I mean, I was just straight up mad. Just kidding. He does it every year. He doesn't like attention. He will celebrate everybody in this world but himself. He will also have grace for everybody in this world but himself. He is highly disciplined, a perfectionist, a very learned man. 
And he's just straight up weird, which my mom will always say. So anytime Nordstrom looks at me like, girl, you are weird. I always look at him and I say, oh yeah, my dad's jeans are strong. I am a lot like my dad. And I'm sure, not that my mother will watch this because I'm sure she gets enough of me. She would agree. She would agree. And yet she'd probably point out some ways how her and I are quite alike too. Isn't that fun? That's so fun. Like you have two parents. My brother and I obviously were raised by the same two parents. We're totally different. And yet kind of similar. And you just all have your own attributes. I'm telling y'all something. I do car chats every 8 a.m., you know, Wednesdays and Thursdays. And those are a little bit more serious, a little bit more encouraging. You know, these are all fun and games and everything. And I'm, I'm telling you, I've got something brewing. I've got something brewing. I'm getting all fired up and spicy about. So I'll see if I release that this week or next week. I just feel like something is in me that I could literally, oh, Oh, I'm telling you, I am. T How many walnuts do we need? Because we just keep on chopping. Oh, nobody set a timer or looked at a clock. Okay, Amber, it's 2.55. You probably put them in at 2.53. Let's just go ahead and make a mental note that 3.43 would be a good time to check. Okay, got it. 3.43. How was the math there? A little quick. Was it accurate? Nobody knows. Okay, hey, Autumn. Come on in. Okay. Y'all, just stop right now and recognize that we got another Amber on this live, and I got to meet her in the flesh last weekend. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Her name is Amber, and I'm pretty sure her and I would have a blast together, and she is on, and she is saying, hey, hey. Okay, friends, I'm going to talk. Uh-oh. Where'd my hot pads go? There they are. I'm going to top these bread. I think this is pretty good. I think that's a good amount. So let's go ahead and top. Woo! Oh, they are runny, but that's okay. They've only been in three minutes, Amber. They're not done. Don't sweat it. Now, here's a question. Should I top these nuts? Actually, not right now. Like, are they going to get too crispy toasty? Are they going to get burnt? I don't know. Y'all, I just make things up when I do this. I just make it up. I just do the things and just make it up. And I'll tell you, we always eat it. In fact, you would not believe the amount of things I made yesterday. And I had nothing to show for by 7 p.m. These children are home for what? They get home around 3. I, I finally closed the kitchen at 7 p.m. I said, y'all are done. Done. Do you hear me? I cannot make you anymore. I cannot feed you anymore. My grocery bill, I do not add up because with four children and two adults who, by the way, barely eat. It's the children who eat. We're barely scraping by. I mean, you wonder why I'm so thin. Ain't nobody eating here but these children. Okay, I'm kind of kidding. But, you know, their appetites are very much bigger than ours. All right, the walnuts are done. The kitchen is a hot mess. I ain't got nothing else to say. I mean, I'm, I probably could find something to say. But we ain't going to sit here for 50 minutes and wait for these suckers to bake. So, unless you have a song request. We gonna get on out of here. Let me browse the comments just in case I give you a hot minutes for, you know, Facebook to check up. Your fingers are, are feverishly typing. Let me just go. Y'all, oh my goodness, you were fun today. I missed some of these. Yes, I did. Oh, I'm going back later. Listen, these brownies are no joke. I'm telling y'all. I am telling y'all. Okay, I didn't, I didn't put the coconut in the fridge. I have already confessed. Yeah, I know. I really needed more flour, or maybe I didn't. I don't know. It might be awful, or it might be amazing. Use a fork to get the clumps out before you add. Mm, I'm going to do that. All right, well, yes, yeah, she is fun. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Uh, I did put the eggs in. Glory be. We put in four. I had to wash my hands. You cannot sew <laughs> Diana, I love you. Okay, y'all are fun. Uh, let me make sure there are no song requests because I would just hate to, you know, ruin your day. Why not? You can sing a song. Well, I can't just make one up. I started with a song. But again, I think that actually benefits the people who watch the replay 
because the songs kind of just allow for Facebook to let the people know we're live, we're live, we're live, we're live. We should have a theme song. What should our theme song be? Okay, I used to have this, hold on, let me see if I can think of it really fast because I'm not gonna keep you. I used to have this song that I would always sing. See what you don't know? Is the Southern Mess now was Hot Mess Mama about five years ago. And I have, oh my goodness, video after video after video of Hot Mess Mama. Telling stories, I like doing all the things. It was so fun. So now we're just, you know, Southern Mess and Bacon. So I don't know, maybe I just change every five years. And that's how I keep my man's head on a swivel. He's like, who's she now? Who's she now? I will leave you with this. So my husband totally thought he was marrying this like super outgoing, like really fun sorority girl, right? Because I was in a sorority in college. And then he like married me and he's like, who are you? Like, you never want to leave the house. You're such an introvert. Like, and I'm like, hi, <laughs> I'm Amber. He's like, yeah, who knew? I thought you were going to be like party, party people, miss social butterfly, all the things. And there you sit. And I'm like, I'm working. <laughs> oh my goodness. Marriage. Marriage. All right, I'm letting y'all go. I'm letting y'all go. I gotta set me a real timer. I cannot burn the pumpkin bread. This, my friends, is Ezekiel honey pumpkin bread. And I'm gonna put the final product in my stories for all y'all to see. Have a beautiful Tuesday. Thank you for joining me. Made my day.